approaching postpartum depression. At present, depression is a problem that the world should pay attention to and face together. Postpartum depression is an important issue but easy to be ignored. Today, let's follow this video to understand postpartum depression. Pre-pregnancy prenatal delivery postpartum are the most important four stages of pregnancy and is closely related to postpartum depression. We will introduce the four stages in details below. According to statistics, 50% to 70% of primipra in our country have psychological changes, such as bad mood, easily anxious, difficulty in concentration, sadness, amnesia, insomnia worry too much about infants, and these psychological changes are easily ignored by husband, mother-in-law, mother and other relatives and friends. If the condition gets serious, they will feel that life is meaningless, sometimes in a state of confusion or lethargy, or even become desperate, suicidal or infanticide. How to detect postpartum depression early? Occurrence time postpartum depression symptoms appear in two weeks after delivery 4-6 weeks postpartum symptoms gradually obvious. The following types of maternal illness are significantly higher, usually sentimental, the pursuit of perfection, desire to have boys but get girls, marital tension, past history of mental disorders. According to statistics, the incidence of postpartum depression is 20 times the incidence of non-pregnant women. The main maternal manifestations are 1. Emotional changes, depression, emotional difference, anxiety and fear, irritability, every night aggravated, sometimes feel lonely, unwilling to see people or suddenly feel sad. 2. Low self-evaluation, self-abdication, self-perpetence. Hostility to people around, uncoordinated family relations. 3. Creative logical thinking is damaged and initiative is reduced. 4. Lack of confidence in life. Feel that life is meaningless, even despair, suicide and other extreme tendencies. We hope to popularize the knowledge of the whole process of pre-pregnancy prenatal delivery postpartum so that we can understand the physiological psychological social comprehensive postpartum depression prevention and intervention technology. Pay attention to postpartum depression, make pregnant women and their people learn to prevent, and can find root causes as soon as possible to solve problems, reduce the incidence of postpartum depression. First, we are going to talk about before pregnancy life of a girl from single to double to multiple. Why community is not ready for pregnancy? It might be lack of the knowledge related. They feel it is financially stressed to have kids. Some of the people think that having a baby is a natural event and it can't be forced. The woman nowadays is busy with work and have no time for baby. Marriage is the beginning of the family. Babies are like the little sons that bring warmth and happiness into our lives. What practices we can do to prepare us for a happy family and get rid of postpartum depression? First, get consultation from doctors. They can be obstetrician, family physician. They are the one who provide professional prenatal knowledge and information to you. Preconception of health is significant as it lets you to understand how health and risk factors could affect you an unborn baby when you become pregnant. You need to be prepared mentally and physically to the changes. For example, physical test which tests your blood pressure and weight. Pelvic exam which tests for pelvic organs like vagina, cervix, uterus and ovary to ensure they are in healthy condition for pregnancy and also pap test which collects cells from your cervix to check for cancer. Blood test, to allow a doctor to identify conditions which have the potential to adversely impact on your health. And also check for any hidden disease. Genetic test. It helps you to understand about genes, birth defects and other medical conditions that run in families, and how they can affect your health and your baby's health. Secondly, enhance your knowledge of whole pregnancy process. 
you can get the information from books online. Thirdly, be financially prepared. Ensure there is enough fund to cover the expenses like medical costs, health insurance, do a proper financial planning, try to list out the monthly expenses and estimate the costs needed after baby delivery. For obsessed women it is recommended to keep fit. As when you get pregnant, it will put on more weight and increase risk of almost all pregnancy complications such as gestational hypertension, preeclampsia, gestational diabetes male it is workout at least 30 minutes per week. You can choose to take weight lifting. It keeps the muscles strong help to support the weight gain on pregnancy and functional movement as a mom in the future. Yoga is a good choice as well. It relaxes mentality and improves sleep and increase the muscle endurance at the same time. Try to maintain a healthy weight of normal body mass index between 18.4 to 24.9. Practice a healthy lifestyle. Stop alcoholic. Stop smoking as it increases the risk of miscarriage. Make sure you have an 8 hours of early sleep per day. Nutritious diet is so important for you to get pregnant. Take the meals which rich in calcium with 1000 mg per day. Food like milk, cheese, iron with 27 mg per day. Lean meats like beef, chicken contain about 1 mg of iron per 3 ounces omega with at least 1000 mg per day. Choose food like seafood, nuts, fiber of 25 grams per day from vegetables fruit try to limit sugar intake of less than 30 grams per day reduce sweet tooth can drink most importantly drink at least two liter of water per day take meals on time every day supplement of folic acid it helps to avoid congenital abnormalities in baby like brain mouth and spine defects Ensure there is 400 microgram per day at least one month before get pregnant. Maintain a close and peaceful relationship between the spouses. Ensure there is consensus of having baby and each other. Be open mind and communicate to speak out the concern. Having in both agreed plan is important. Mentally health is prior. Do a meditation of 15 minutes per day to give mindfulness that leads to positive feelings. Try to get help from the one who trusted and speak out the doubts and worries. You can get support from partner and immediate families or even ask for advice from experienced one like mothers or sisters. Do activities which you liked. Gathering. Reading. Cooking to make yourself happy. Those practices can help you to be prepared mentally and physically and reduce the risk of postpartum depression. In the prenatal period, pregnant women have experienced a process of pregnancy in 10 months time, and have a certain understanding of pregnancy. At this stage, in addition to pay attention to the signs of labor, labor preparation, prenatal examination and a series of protection of pregnant women and fetal life safety, we should also consider the psychological changes of pregnant women. First of all, prepare for delivery, including health examination in late pregnancy, psychological preparation and material preparation. Late pregnancy health examination is essential, so that we can understand their own and fetal situation and prepare for all possible situations. Psychologically, to establish self-confidence, pregnant women should learn more about the relevant knowledge and experience, increase their understanding of themselves, and enhance the self-confidence of giving birth to a baby. Then we should correctly understand the pain of childbirth, transfer the fear of childbirth to other aspects, and face the fear of childbirth. Although the pain level of childbirth is high, but we have to face it bravely. At the beginning, it is the distending pain caused by the contraction of the uterus before the birth of the fetus. Slowly, the labor pain will become more and more intensive, from once every 10 minutes to once every 4 or 5 minutes, and then to once every 1 or 2 minutes. 
general labor pain lasts about 30 to 50 seconds. Slowly, the labor pains extend to the pregnant woman's waist, buttocks, uterus and vagina. Some women will give birth within 24 hours or several days, so pregnant women have to wait patiently and bear with the pains. Moreover, it is prior to create a comfortable environment, build a good family social support system, and strengthen psychological counseling for pregnant women. In this stage, in addition to the material preparation as much as possible, the social environment or the support of family and friends is very important for pregnant women. We should relax the maternal thought, understand that fertility is a necessary capacity for women, and delivery is also a normal physiological phenomenon. All of us should understand the needs of the pregnant women, create a quiet, clean and cozy living environment for them, and provide humanistic care to pregnant mothers. In addition, adjust your mindset and maintain a state of mind. Understand their current situation, and give trust to family doctors, comfort their mentality, to look forward the arrival of new life in the best state. The personal factors we may face during labor are as follows, lack of knowledge of childbirth, fear of childbirth, long labor process, the pain and poor pain tolerance. Other factors are uncomfortable ward environment, service attitude of medical staff and high medical expenses. Strengthen the study of medical staff, understand the special psychological state of normal pregnancy in different periods, master the relevant psychological intervention content, and then better provide help to the maternal. Medical staff provide good service attitude, smile service, relieve pregnancy maternal psychological pressure, improve the quality of obstetrics department, carry out the service mode of family delivery, encourage natural delivery, according to the individual situation, adopt the appropriate painless delivery mode, reduce the pain of maternal childbirth, improve the facilities of the ward to provide a comfortable living environment for the maternal and their families, warm layout. Ward with warm tone instead of traditional hospital cold white tone. Control the appropriate temperature and humidity. Books about baby care and postpartum care are placed in the ward. After giving birth, the maternal body consumption is greater and may be accompanied by discomfort symptoms. At this time should pay attention to the maternal complaints, timely treatment of their discomfort, Pay attention to whether the maternal postpartum complications, fever, infection and other conditions, timely attention to maternal wound healing. It is helpful to promote mother-child relationship, establish a good mother-child relationship through nursing, hugging, caressing and other actions, and relax the body and mind of pure para. It is also conducive to the mother to take care of the baby under the guidance of medical staff to learn how to care for the baby. Control the rise of medical expenses and reduce the living and psychological burden brought by medical expenses on women and their families. Finally, in the postpartum stage, pregnant women need to supplement nutrition, proper rest and exercise, postpartum rehabilitation and learning parenting knowledge. For example, diet, pace of life, recovery, emotion and care. Pure Bera should take timely supplementary of various nutrients, and eat more fresh vegetables, fruits and so on. She can also eat some red beans, medlar, auricularia auricula, which is conducive to activate blood circulation. Pure Bera should have more rest, keep a happy mood, and do some appropriate exercise. Pure Bera can carry out pelvic muscle rehabilitation training, can massage the uterus, take medication to promote uterine contraction, do postpartum yoga, aerobics and so on. Be prepared with the role of mother, enhance the feelings of mother and child, learn parenting knowledge and skills. Pay attention to the personality characteristics of Pure Bera psychological changes before and after delivery, etc. Here is a workout video to help recovery from postpartum.
there may be some risk factors here. From spiritual, the relationship between husband and wife is not peaceful, lack understanding of postpartum depression from immediate families and low awareness from the society caused the symptoms of depression cannot be detected in time. From physically, hormonal changes causes the postpartum complications and make maternal depression serious. At these times, visits and timely interventions from public health and community services are needed. What can we do? According to a study by Shanghai Food and University, although different countries or regions have different timing of postpartum health care, the study found that the rate of postpartum visits of more than three times dropped significantly. Therefore, through comprehensive evaluation of the quality and quantity and concerned with the number of visits, 2-3 times home visits and one time of postpartum health checkup are more recommended. Reducing the number of visits may increase the misdiagnosis rate for certain problems. While increases the frequency may increase the cost at the same time. Moreover in the current situation of low manpower, it will inevitably increase the burden on the community and decrease the quality of services. It doesn't help much in improving the postpartum depression situation. In terms of visit time, postpartum home visits will be carried out within 3 days and 7 to 14 days after delivery, and health checkups are suggested to be carried out at the delivery hospital between 42nd to 56th days after delivery. Therefore, in addition to help pregnant women in prevention and fighting against postpartum depression, this training aims to raise the awareness of health service departments on the mental health care of women and children in the community, while attract more attention from the society as well. We hope that there is more financial support from the community and also increase the staff number of maternal and child health care and community health service institutions from the government. At the end of our video, we hope that, whether you are a pregnant woman, her family or a person who is currently not familiar with this knowledge, will have a certain understanding of postpartum depression. Love always wins when we join hands to fight it. Thank you.